Remember that credit card shit y'all had to deal with in the 90s? We dealing with it through student loan debt in the 2000s. I wanted to get a higher education. All I got was a bill. A degree's not an asset anymore. It's a liability. I mean, you can go to college for four years and end up in 10 years of debt. This is the worst mathematical equation I've ever seen. Like if I wanted a mortgage, I would have bought a house. All them fucking payments you gotta make. It's like having sex for the first time and catching herpes. Even though it may go down, you're going to need that Magic Johnson money to get rid of it. And Sally Mae is the craziest bitch I've ever known. This bitch is worse than cat stacks. Because student loan debt is at $830 billion. And the average amount of tuition is $28,000. You know how many J's I can buy with that? At least in 10 years with J's, they would be worth some value. Back in the 70s, you could go to school, pay for school, have a part-time job, and probably have a car. Now we gotta play the game, who wants to be a millionaire in debt? And you know the worst part about all this is? Even after you pay all this money, that still doesn't guarantee the fact that you're gonna get a job after this. Wait a minute, did this motherfucker just say I'm still not guaranteed to get a job? And these niggas will come after your social security if you ain't paid this shit off. These niggas is more ruthless than NWA. Coming straight up the government. A crazy motherfucker named Sally Mae. Student loan debt is becoming a date rape drug at a college party. And I don't knock anybody who's going to college. But prepare to have your pants around your ankles when you go there. So before you tell your kid to go back to school, your ass need to do some research. So thank you, Sally Mae. Now I understand why Juicy J was giving out twerking scholarships. It's going to get to the point you got to suck a dick just to get a Pell Grant. <laughs> <laughs> I just going to say a lot of crazy shit.